Pumping his fist in the air after landing, Air Force test pilot Ed Dwight, making history today at 90 years old, is now the oldest man to travel into space. Everything you can think of. Uh, and I, 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 I thought I really did need this in my life, <laughs> but now I need it in my life. I am. Ecstatic. Dwight was selected by President John F. Kennedy in 1961 to become the first black astronaut candidate. But when Kennedy was assassinated, Dwight's path to space evaporated. Until now, Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos' aerospace company, launched its NS-25 mission, sending Dwight and five others into space for an 11-minute flight aboard its new Shepard rocket capsule combo. While he did not get the chance to travel into space all those years ago, Dwight went on to have an amazing life as a sculptor and author, but he says over the years he had to convince himself that he didn't need to go to space. So I had to sublimate it and make it go away and say, well, I didn't need that anyway, you know. But I did, and I, kind of, I wish I had gotten that then, but... It's, it's, it's great. That's all I can say. It's great. Absolutely fabulous. Veteran astronaut Charlie Bolden sent along a special message ahead of Dwight's big day. I want you to just take Take some time while you're, while you're flying just to suck it all up and take it all in. You deserve every moment of this. Uh, you've been a role model and a mentor for many of us. New Shepard had been grounded since a September 2022 accident during an uncrewed flight, which the company traced to a thermostructural failure. But the vehicle is now fully back, with its latest human mission now a success. This is a life-changing experience. Everybody needs to do this. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, New York.